Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and this, my friends, is our last video of the year. The most anticipated by me, I don't know about you, video. It is the five best sunscreens of 2022. I decided to wear my glasses in this video just because the, the glare wasn't as bad and I really wanted to be able to see, make sure I'm in focus. <laughs> so I will leave a little bit of my kind of like final thoughts of the year toward the end of the video just in case you just want to know about the sunscreens but just keep an eye out for that because i do you know have a few words to say so let's jump in let's get going i have five best coming at you right now okay number one this one probably will come as no surprise this is the summer fridays shade drops the sunscreen is stunning so beautiful I was so excited when Summer Fridays dropped this, but also when it was like really, really good <laughs> because sometimes you just don't know. And they did really good with this. My only concern, and I have this about a few of them, is that they're SPF 30. A lot of these do end up being like a little bit lower protection than what I would prefer, but I feel like it's a good start and I will still use SPF 30. There's nothing wrong with it. I just like, you know, as much protection as I can get. But this is a mineral sunscreen and it has kind of, I wanna show you the color. This almost like yellow, like taupe color. And it's just enough color. It's not tinted in the sense when you have a tinted sunscreen that is like an actual shade color, like of a skin tone. This one's not a skin tone, but it just cancels out or the white cast from the zinc oxide enough to make it like perfect that it's non-tinted, but a little bit tinted and i think that is kind of what brands need to continue doing we want a lot of people want a non-tinted mineral sunscreen because if you don't like to wear makeup if you don't want any coverage you don't want that added tint but to counteract the zinc oxide and the titanium dioxide sometimes you need some kind of pigment to do just that and that's exactly what they've done with this it's kind of a shade that works, I think, for most skin tones. I haven't heard otherwise, but it also is just easy enough to rub in that if there is a little bit of a kind of, of pigment to it, that you can rub it out really quickly. The other thing that I love about it is, I don't know if you can see, but there's no sheen to it. This is about as close to natural without being like extra matte and feeling too drying as I have found, which is just really nice because not only are we in an age of dewy, glowy sunscreens in general, but typically with a mineral sunscreen, if it's gonna be decent, it usually ends up being more glowy. And that's also to counteract the dryness of the zinc oxide. They can just be very drying products. So I'm super impressed by the formula of this, by the shade of it, pretty much by everything. And I have like that much left and I'm kind of savoring it. I prefer to wear this in the summer as the name <laughs> suggests, maybe, I don't know, because it does kind of dry down. And for me where I live being so hot and humid, it is kind of a better thing for me in the summer versus the winter. I haven't really worn it a lot in the winter and I don't think it would dry my skin out, but I, that's just not the look that I go for. Okay, the next one I have, I actually have kind of two, and I'm gonna consider them one. <laughs> the first one is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Immune. So this is the invisible fluid. It comes in two formulas. We have the invisible fluid, and then the one with the pump top, and that is kind of the, the creamier, I think what they call like hydration cream. It's just a thicker formula. I would say that the other one, the hydration one, is more for drier skin, whereas this invisible fluid is more for like normal or oily skin. You can use it if you have dry skin as well. But I feel like almost all the Roche-Posay sunscreens but I was especially excited for this one because UV Immune was a new UV filter for UVA rays, and it was basically targeting longer form UVA rays. So I love the fact that they are bringing out these new technologies and new filters and giving us basically something that's not already on the market. So that's definitely why it's in the top five, but I also just enjoy using the invisible fluid line of theirs. And so like even before the UV Immune, I love the invisible fluid one, the Shaka. I've used this entirely up. That's just a little ball in there. And I would definitely repurchase, but I also have to get this from Europe because this filter is not available in the US. So my kind of like caveat in this is that I'm gonna offer 
this one that Americans can get. This is the Empelios Ultra Light Fluid Sunscreen. I don't know. But this is SPF 60, which is amazing. And I love that you're getting such a high protection from this one. It kind of works similarly to the Shaka, but it has a little, little, little bit more of a white cast. And I don't say like an actual white cast because it is a chemical sunscreen. But when you put a lot of it on, which is what I do, I tend to have a little bit of a cast around the edges or on my eyebrows, but it just takes a little bit extra rubbing, whereas the UV Mune doesn't have any cast. Although this one, I will say, it has this like interesting yellowish color. Can you see that? And it doesn't have a yellow color on my face, but I have heard some people that it kind of has this yellow tinge to their skin. So if that is an issue for you, maybe try getting the Anthelios Ultra Light Fluid Sunscreen instead. Okay, so we have one mineral and one chemical so far, and we actually have quite a few other mineral sunscreens this year. Actually, the rest of them. <laughs> so the next one I have is the St. Jane Luxury Sun Ritual Pore Smoothing SPF 30. This sunscreen was such a surprise. I had no expectations for this. St. Jane is a luxury skincare brand, and I just kind of figured they're gonna put out a mineral sunscreen, of course, and it's probably not gonna be good because it's probably gonna be casty and they're gonna say it's invisible and it's not. But this one is, was, continues to be shocking to me. Can you see that color? It kind of has the same color as, I guess, the Summer Fridays sunscreen. So the formula on this is so unique in that it dries down. It kind of feels like the Summer Fridays in a lot of ways, but it feels a little bit more luxurious and I don't feel like it has the same kind of like natural matte-ish finish. I would say it's just a more natural finish. It also has a smell, a scent to it, which the other, the Summer Fridays doesn't. It has kind of this beautiful, in my opinion, rose, very light rose finish, but it does dry down a little bit more natural. You can't see it here. And just not as drying sometimes. I feel that the Summer Fridays can be a little bit more drying and not in a bad way, but like when I wanna wear it in the summer, that's perfect. And this one just feels like nothing on your face. But the more and more that I talk about both of these, I find them to be very, very similar. This one has a more fluid kind of consistency and texture. This one is a little bit more of a cream, comes out, you have to squeeze it, it's a little bit harder to get out. And this packaging is just absolutely stunning. Not to say that the Summer Fridays isn't, but I just think that this one is like a masterpiece in itself. The only problem with both of them is they are rather expensive and they are again SPF 30. But other than that, I think that they're really great additions to the skincare and sunscreen world. And I especially love the fact that they are giving us textures that have and finishes that are kind of more suited for people with a little bit more oily skin, which just isn't as common these days and have it like the, the consistency and the formula just be spectacular. Okay, we're gonna just keep going on the um, mineral sunscreen train. <laughs> so the next one that I have is the Tatcha, the silk sunscreen. So this one came out at the kind of beginning of the year and it blew me away. Now these are all new sunscreens, which I try to do. I try to get new 2022 sunscreens. Not always the case for this time or for this video, it is the case. And this one, it really, really blew me away. It has this consistency that is like pretty much, I guess kind of like the um, Summer Fridays where it's pretty runny and a nice fluid consistency, if you can see that. It has a tone to it, so it is tinted, but it's not a skin tone. And I feel like it will work for most skin tones. I do think that if you have a very, very deep skin tone, you might see some of a cast. It might be um, a little ashy on you, but usually you can blend it out pretty easily. And then the cast, if there is any, will go away. Now, my main issue with this, because there's nothing that's, I don't think I have anything that's perfect, and I always like to just kind of like call out maybe the things that were wrong, but they had some issues with packaging. As you can see, it just started peeling and flaking off, which was frustrating because it would peel off on your hand, which I don't know if you can see it. And then I would put the sunscreen on and I would have the flakes from the package on my face, but they have addressed that and they did come out with a new package. It looks exactly the same, but it should be better. And I say should because 
They did send that to me when I let them know that this happened, but I haven't used it. I haven't even opened it because I wanted to kind of save it and give it or use it as a giveaway when I hit 5K subscribers. So hopefully when somebody wins that in the giveaway, they will let me know if it actually doesn't peel off. But you know, that is something I, I hope they fixed and I am confident that they probably did because I don't know why they would go to all that trouble and not fix it. So that's one issue. And then the other issue is just the price. A lot of these are more expensive and you are paying for this one for the packaging. You're paying for the name brand. Tatcha is a luxury brand but the price is pretty up there. So you have to be kind of willing to spend a little bit more. But I find that when you do spend a little bit more, you do end up getting a really, really elegant and kind of formula that you continue to want to put on. So that is a good thing. I love the fact that this one is SPF 50 and it actually has PA, you have four PAs in it. So this one was a huge, huge win and I was so excited to see them release that this year. Okay, and our last, the coup de gras. We have, ta-da, Say Sun Visor. I was so, so mind blown by this. So this came out this year. They reformulated their original Sun Visor sunscreen. The first one that they put out, and I will link a video that I did comparing them. It was weird. It had this weird texture that kind of like separated and it just felt like maybe an unfinished formula. <laughs> And so then they released this and I was like, I don't know what to expect. I know that say their product before the sun visor was very, very emollient for those of us who have dry skin kind of thing. And so I was kind of expecting that and it is still that, but this is the most beautiful formula. It is stunning. It doubles as makeup. So I do want to let people know if they don't know that mine also does not pump. The pump doesn't work, which is, not great, but I'll live with it. It really doubles as makeup, but it has this shine to it. This shine. It's like an actual shimmer, but not like a glittery shimmer. It looks, it just looks fresh, radiant, healthy, glowy. It looks stunning. And you can use this as your sunscreen and your makeup. And what I like to do is I will put something on underneath it. One of these two sunscreens, because they give you a little bit more of a matte natural finish, and then I will put a little bit of this on because I don't want to put a quarter of a teaspoon. I can be really glowy if I put that much on. If I put a little bit less on top of one of the others, it just gives me the most beautiful coverage, sunscreen protection, glow, radiance. It's stunning. And I have friends that have bought this or I, I actually bought it for one of them. I think it's really hard for me to say any of these are my favorite because I really like have a, a purpose for all of them. But this one I've used almost all the way up, which kind of is the case for at least these three. And well, and I used the entire UV Mune up as well. So it holds a special place in my heart because there's really nothing else on the market that quite looks like this that has that shimmer and like makeup ishness to it without actually looking like cheap or too tinted too pigmented it's they've done a beautiful beautiful job with this so highly 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 recommend it all right guys those are the five wow oh and i did want to give honorable mention i i knew i was going to forget this if, if i didn't have it in my notes the beauty of Josian sunscreen was a huge win for a lot of people this year. I thought it was absolutely stunning, but the reason it didn't make my top five is because I also have like a lot of different Korean sunscreens that are pretty much the same as that. So I think if you've only tried maybe a few Korean sunscreens and that's one of them, that's why you might love it more than others. I don't know, maybe not, maybe because it's unscented and there are other reasons, but for me, I can pick up like a handful of different Korean sunscreens at any moment and kind of they will do the same thing. So it wasn't that it wasn't spectacular. It just kind of like, you know, there were others that kind of did the same. That's why I didn't make the top five, but yeah. So I will try to keep this little bit brief, but I just wanted to say thank you so much. Everyone who has watched this year, my channel has grown and while maybe not at the rate like I would love, I would love to be a huge YouTube creator and do this full time. I have seen substantial growth for me as doing this like very part time. I have a full time job as well. And 
I appreciate all of you. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you growing with me. I appreciate your thoughtful conversation. It just takes a lot to, you know, come up with the ideas of the videos, put them out there, come up with and do the research. So I'm not saying that like I'm unique in that at all, but I appreciate people trying to learn and grow with me. So I'm never going to know everything, nor am I going to get everything right every time. So it's just this conversation that we have and I feel like the community that is here is so wonderful and I'm so appreciative of that and I just want to continue doing this and I couldn't do it without you all. So if you've watched this far, if you've watched any of my videos this year, I'm thanking you. I hope you have a wonderful end of 2022 and just the most spectacular and amazing 2023. I'll see you next year guys. Bye.